How many tomatoes do you think we planted? How many do you think we have in the ground total? 100. 100. Our average last frost date is at the end of April. So I had a little bit of a window where I didn't plant very much in the garden because we hadn't passed that time and it was also super rainy. And during that time as well, we also get a lot of severe weather. So oftentimes, even if it looks like we're not gonna get a frost, I hold back on planting those summer crops that I transplant like tomatoes because a hail and windstorm can destroy all of that work that I already did. I was able to make more seed starting mix, which I ran out of when I did my big seed starting day and I really needed some more to start more seeds and also to be able to pot up my tomatoes. I do have a video on how I make this, but over the years I have changed one significant thing when I make this seed starting mix and that is I used to sift both my compost and my peat moss and now I don't do either of those and I haven't noticed a huge difference. I was able to find a source of both peat moss and compost that have smaller particles so it helps me to not have to do that and it saves me a whole bunch of time. Just like my blueberries, I have some areas in my raspberries that need to be filled in and I had a friend, Annette, sent me these extra raspberries from her garden. They had kind of gone where they weren't supposed to go and so she didn't need them and she sent them to me. So nice. And I am going to prune them back a little bit before planting so it's a little bit easier to plant and then get them in the ground. I planted these raspberries about 18 inches apart and in the bottom of each planting hole, I put a whole bunch of compost because raspberries love that. So the kids started some seeds in here and they already transplanted all of their little seedlings into their gardens. And so it freed up some trays for me to use and I'm gonna be doing some more seed starting today and succession planting. Here, we need more filming. Oh, my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good example of what our native soil looks like. Really dry, super hard clay soil. And I am planting some cover crops in it. This is sun hemp. And I tried to use my cedar in it and it literally would not go into the ground. So I am broadcasting and I'm hoping it's going to germinate. As you can see, the soil has a lot of weeds in it already. I wasn't able to get all of those out. I just thought I want to get this all covered with a cover crop and I don't care if there's some weeds in there. It just needs to be covered because the soil is so awful. So sun hemp is a cover crop that is best sown in the summertime or towards the summertime and it grows really fast and it should outcompete some of those weeds. And then later this summer, I'll mow it down and I'll plant another cover crop so that I can improve this soil and get it into better condition for planting. Today's goal is to get this third row in my tunnel, get it finished weeding and add some compost down. We're setting up to do tomatoes really soon. We are going to put up a tomato trellis in the tunnel today. I am using a different method than I have ever used before. I think I try a new trellising method every single year. And this year I'm gonna be doing the lower and lean method with my indeterminate tomatoes. So it's gonna require me to put a wire along the top of my caterpillar tunnel. I'm not doing it in the middle, I'm doing it on one end. So. Cam is gonna help me put that up so that I don't have to get up on the ladder to do that. And then 
we'll hook on the hooks and get the tomatoes planted and hopefully it all works out. Cam and I decided the best way to hook this up would be to wrap the wire around each one of the metal hoops as we went down the line and there are some bolts that are connecting to the pieces of the hoop together. So we put it right above those bolts so that wire, the wire wouldn't slide down at all. And then at the very end, he is using a cable clamp to finish off the ends. The last three or four days have been so hot out here. We've had like a little bit of a heat wave. It's been like 85 to 90 degrees, really high humidity. And it's really, really difficult for me to be outside for a very long time in that kind of humidity while I'm, I'm now 35 weeks pregnant. And it's just something that I have realized my body temperature doesn't regulate itself as well as it normally does and I get overheated really easily. This morning I am out early in the morning. It's about 7 in the morning right now and I'm hoping to get my tomatoes in the ground and planted today. I'm a little bit later than I would like to be on this. I just couldn't really function out here very well in the heat. So we finished hanging the roller hooks for trellising the tomatoes and now all I need to do is plant the tomatoes. The tomatoes I am planting about a foot apart from each other. I don't normally plant them that close, but I'm training them to one liter this year instead of allowing them to grow into two or get bushy or anything like that. Usually if I just let them go as they are without pruning off suckers, then I would have at least two foot spacing. But due to the trellising I'm doing this year, they're gonna be closer together. As far as fertilization goes, I usually don't add a lot of fertilizers at the very beginning when I'm planting these because the compost can kind of act as enough until later on. But I'm actually going to front load these this year with the fertilizer just because I know I'm going to be busy or a little less available later on. I am going to put in some kelp in the bottom of each hole and a little bit of blood meal and then I'll water them in with a, a fertilizer supplement that kind of stimulates soil biology. That will really help because my compost this year has sat for a long time and so it's kind of lifeless. string down from above to hook each string to a tomato. I'm using these tomato clips to attach them. As of right now, they don't really need this. They're not flopping over yet, but just to kind of get them going and get them trained, I'm hooking them up right now. With these little clips, you want to hook the string right in the middle there and then just clip around the stem. All the tomatoes are planted, trellises are in. I got my drip irrigation set up, everything fertilized, and I'm super happy with how much progress I made today. I just did my bigger tomatoes. I have another set of tomatoes that are a little bit smaller that I'll plant next, not today, because I'm going in now. On another day, we'll do those.
round two of planting tomatoes. I am working on my smaller tomatoes today, getting all of those in the ground. We are doing the rest of this row in the tunnel and then we're gonna work outside and get my determinate tomatoes all planted. These tomatoes are in the two inch soil blocks. I could pot them up to the four inch blocks at this point, but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that step entirely, save myself some time. Since we are past our last frost, there's no reason to pot them up anymore. So same for the tunnel. I'm gonna be doing one foot spacing in the tunnel, outside the tunnel. Uh, it will be two feet apart for those determinant tomatoes. Basically all of my paste tomatoes will be out there. How many tomatoes do you think we planted? How many do you think we have in the ground total? Like with yours, mine, and Dax's? 100. 100, maybe. Any so far, Noel? 85. 85, you wanna go count yours? 99. That's 100. Where's 100? Oh, 100. Pretty good guess. <laughs> Factory 100. We got one full row of tomatoes planted out here. I still need to set up the drip irrigation, but I'm not doing that today. This was a good enough accomplishment because we got this and then what we did inside the tunnel. And we got a lot of tomatoes. I still have one more set that I'm growing out right now, like another 16 or so. We have about 100 tomatoes for this year, which is a little bit less than I did last year. But I'm doing that on purpose because I want to be able to manage what I have a little bit better, and hopefully we can get higher yields to make up for that. <laughs> 